Okay, what I want you to do right now is I want you to imagine you're standing on a cliff. You're standing literally on the edge. All you have to do is take one little step until you're moving yourself into the unknown. And the problem is that unknown is beyond our control, beyond our comfort zone, if you will. And we fear that. We try to avoid that. We want to stay here with our two little feet on the ground where, we, where, where it's known, right? I'm standing here and I know nothing's gonna happen, but the moment I move my feet just one step ahead, I'm in the unknown. I'm flying uncontrollably. I don't know what's gonna happen. Fear will always fucking be here. And to be honest, we always have a fucking base level fear. As human beings, we are born in fear. If you're sitting here, it's like, I'm not afraid. You're shitting yourself, okay? You're fucking lying. Everybody here is afraid. And quite frankly, the more successful you get, the more and the higher levels of fear you will experience. The first thing we're trying to do when we're in a moment of one step into the unknown is we're thinking. We're trying to think through the whole problem. We're trying to think the problem away. It was like, let me just think. Let me just think. And even when you stand on a cliff before you jump, you're like, let me just think this through. Let me just think this through. But there's one thing you gotta be aware of. Thinking is not gonna get you down. Fear will never fucking go away. It will always be a part of everything. The basic gist, however, is it's about how you deal with that fear. It's not how you eliminate the fear, it's how you fucking deal with that fear. Right? Moments like these are not moments of thinking, they're moments of doing. Your brain's not fucking gonna help you, no. It helps you in a lot of situations in your life, but not when it is about doing that one step. The only two things that are gonna help you in situations like this is your left foot and your right foot. Those are your only two friends. And I always say that I move my feet faster than my brain can think. The way I interpret fear, that's what keeps me going. I don't say that's bad for me. I don't say, oh, a situation where I'm afraid is bad for me. No, I think that's good. I, in fact, I deliberately put myself in the situations where I'm exposed to fear, where I'm exposed to potential fuck-ups, right? When I get to in the situation and somebody will tell me, dude, there's a 90% chance you're gonna fuck it up. I'm like, bring it on, man. Because it's a win-win situation. I either win, I either overcome that obstacle, or I get fucking stomped into the ground, but survive. But fucking survive. Bill Gates is not confident in making money because he made a lot of money. No, those motherfuckers are fucking confident because they lost. And they lost, and they lost, and they lost, and they lost, where everybody would have given up. Those motherfuckers went back up like, well, I guess I'm gonna fucking do it again. Stop thinking, and move your feet into the unknown, fly down, survive, and tell yourself you survived. Even, even, if, you, even if you land on your ass, you're most probably gonna survive, and you're never gonna regret it. Just do it.